Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here today in our garden. I want to talk to you a little bit about companion planting and some of the things you might want to watch out for that might be a little misleading. We have our peppers planted here. All along here is a whole row of peppers that was doing fantastic. It said that peppers could be companion planted along with onions. Onions in the background and lemongrass. You see the Egyptian walking onions back there? It said that these could be planted along with these as an insect deterrent. And there's actually garlic was behind me here, but we got the garlic up. Guys, the problem we run into is look at the pepper plants. You see these plants? See how they have no leaves left on them? Look at these. You see that right there? You see how those leaves are? That's caused by the spotted tomato wilt virus. The spotted tomato wilt virus on these peppers came from the onion thrip. The onion thrips came from these onions right over here. These Egyptian walking onions came over to our peppers and infected our peppers with the uh, spotted tomato wilt virus. And all the leaves through here got all curled up and twisted up. You can see how they are here. There they look in bad shape. They're all in bad shape. And once it done that, everything that I read on it said that you might as well pull these plants up and throw them away because they would never again be of any benefit. Now it did. Every pepper on this whole row was covered up with this virus. So guys, I'm not pulling my pepper plants up just because some study shows that. What I do is I come out here every morning and every time I find one of these leaves that's messed up like this, I clip it off and throw it away. And you know what's happened? As a result, I've got all new leaves coming out that seem to be doing pretty fair. As you come down through here, you can see they're actually starting to rebloom on the tops. All the information I read said that these plants would never recover and never do anything. Guys, today I picked peppers off of all of these that they said would not ever bear another pepper, but that I should just pull them up and throw them away to get rid of the virus. I'm telling you, everything you read is always not accurate because I'll come here and I'll take these leaves like this right here. And when you do that, within a day or two, this area right here will sprout back and put new leaves on. And I'm gradually taking off the old leaves as the new leaves come on. Look how nice looking these are now. They've got new blooms all over them. I actually picked peppers off of these this morning. They're looking real healthy. Look at the blooms on this one here, how well it's done re-blooming. Got little peppers coming on it down here. Look at all the little peppers right there. So guys, just because a plant catches a disease doesn't mean that you have to get rid of it instantly. Because after doing research, I discovered that the spotted tomato wilt virus cannot be transmitted from leaf to leaf. The insect is the one that actually has to do the transmission of it. I can pick a leaf off of this plant and go to the next plant and I'm not transmitting the disease. So, a few things I've learned here. Companion planting is not always accurate because diseases from one plant can affect the other one even though they're classified as companions. Secondly, just because studies show that you should get rid of a diseased plant out of your garden that it will never do anything again may not be 100% accurate because I went along here and took the leaves off and you see my pepper plants how new looking they are so far they look like they're doing fantastic they must be 50 blooms in the tops of these they're everywhere through here and my peppers have been spared and I'm actually harvesting more peppers off of them so and a gardening 101 tip today is don't always pay attention to research. Even though it's out there for a good reason, it may not always be 100% accurate where you live at. So I hope this has been informational. I hope that you've enjoyed this today and maybe it helps you out. If your peppers get a disease called the spotted tomato wilt virus, that you'll know what to do next time.
just come out every day and start picking the leaves off that are curled up and get rid of them out of the garden and the plants will recover because mine has.